Hi, we are Team Wildcard. I am Jones. I am Yiqing. Understand the motivation behind this project, let us tell you a story about Bob. This is Bob. Bob is an incoming CS freshman that has just attended FOP. Bob has gotten an email from NUS, reminding him to register for modules for the upcoming semester. What is module registration? And this Bob, confused, he decides to ask Karen, his FOP facilitator. Module registration happens at the beginning of every semester. Go down to NUS mods and input your modules. He then goes down to NUS mods and enters his modules. He realizes that he needs to choose the time slots by himself. He clicks on one of these mods and is shocked at the amount of choices he has for just one module. There has to be a better way to do this. Have you heard of the NUS Timetable Planner? It helps optimize your timetable with just a few clicks of a button. Does it? Let me give it a try. Goes to the link for the NUS Timetable Planner. Welcome to the NUS Timetable Planner. The NUS Timetable Planner is meant to be a user-friendly and intuitive web application for students to optimize their timetables. What do I mean by optimize? What I mean is to cater timetables to whatever constraints they want. Uh, I will show you in this demo. So the NUS Timetable Planner is meant to be user-friendly and intuitive. So to get started, search for the modules that you are taking this semester. So for a typical CS student, he'll be taking CS 111S, IS1103, So these are some of the common modules that a NUS Year 1 CS student will take. So let's say, for example, he puts in a wrong module. Let's say instead of, instead of uh, putting in MA1521, he put in BMA5001 and he wishes to delete this mod, he can clear it. And if he wishes to clear all the mods, he can press clear mods. And this will confirm clear mods, which I will not press. So after selecting the modules you wish to take, you submit the mods, and a list of constraints will be given to you. So these constraints given are fix a class, meaning, um, so for this module CS111S, I want to fix this class recitation Thursday from 8 to 9. Perhaps I plan to take this class with a classmate of mine, and we both have already bid it for this mod, so we don't want, we don't want the timetable generator to pick any other class for us. Uh, no lessons before is no lessons before a certain timing. So you can input any of these timings here. No lessons on, meaning you want a free day maybe. So you don't want lessons on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No lessons on from two, meaning uh, let's say you want to block out Tuesday lunchtime because you have, a f you have an appointment with a friend every, every Tuesday. Or you have a certain class outside that you need to commit to. End as early as possible. Start as late as possible. Maximize online classes and maximize offline classes. So, of course, with so many constraints, we're probably going to run into an error. Yep, so it tells us not possible. So because it's not possible, it'll give us a blank timetable. So we can consider um, clearing some of these. So now we just want to maximize online classes some constraints, and this timetable will be generated for you. So uh, let's try something more reasonable. So let's try no lessons before 10 a.m. I'll submit these constraints, and we see that we have no lessons before 10 a.m. So we have some filters here. We have view lectures. So if you toggle this, it will remove all the lecture slots. If you toggle this, it will remove all the lab slots. If you toggle this, remove all the tutorials. This one is all the other miscellaneous slots. So because this is one, gen one randomly generated iteration of the timetable, we can press generate another, and it will generate another iteration of this timetable. So let's say you've generated another timetable and you want to see the previous timetable you've created. You can press view previous, 
and it will show you the previous iteration of the timetable that is generated for you. So now you can compare these two timetables. Let's say uh, you're not sure which lessons you are taking and which lessons is for which. So you can click here and you can see CS111S lectures one Wednesday from 10 to 12 and uh, this is an easier view for you. Now let's say you want to see this timetable on NUS Mods. So you can press the export the NUS Mods button and this will immediately open this timetable generator for you on NUS Mods and you can use this if it's easier to see. And that is all for the NUS Timetable Planner. Um, there is a help page with uh, frequently asked questions and answers. So this is just text. So uh, this part tells you what the constraints exactly are and what each button does. Yep. And this is the end of the tour. In order to help other students like Bob, we also decided to make a mobile application which is complementary to the web application. As you can see, this is our mobile app. Let me just do a quick demo. So first of all, this is the home page. You can tap anywhere to start, in which you can choose the year and the semester. For example, um, I want to plan for year SEM 2 2020 to 2021. I can submit the time, which will bring me to the module page where I can search for my modules. For example, Joe, and I can select it. And I can search for other modules such as uh, CS20, 30. I can also choose to see the mods that I have selected. And if I do not want any of them, I can also delete them. After this, I can submit my mods, in which I will be directed to the constraints page, where I can choose the different constraints that I want. So for example, I want my lessons to end as early as possible. I can add this constraint and submit it, upon which my timetable will be generated. I can even click on the export to NUS mods button, which will bring me to the NUS mods page with the timetable that I have made. And with that, we have come to the end of our product demo. Thank you.